how do we go about now actually applying some of these techniques on a daily basis, you know, sustaining and maintaining them? How do we measure them? How do we ingrain them into our corporate culture? What's the best way to eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So a lot of people, when they talk about change or the best way to implement these things, we get overwhelmed by the big picture. I have so much to do. I have so many moving components of this. It's just overwhelming as opposed to, well, really, what, what can I do? What can I do for myself? So start with yourself. When you go into meetings, is your energy and attitude at the right place? Are you a no but person or a yes but person versus a yes and person, at least for periods of time? Can you really hold yourself accountable to be focused and present? Do you catch yourself when you start disengaging? So what can you do for yourself on a regular basis? Slow it down, start with morning goals, you know, do a little visualization, mentally give yourself a couple of minutes over a cup of coffee. I'm going to try these techniques with these people at this specific opportunity of the day with these specific desired outcomes. Then at the end of the day, evaluate yourself. What did you do right? Where did you struggle? Where were your strengths and weaknesses? What can you learn from that? So that the next day when you implement this, you put yourself in a better position to succeed. Once you develop that core understanding, go one person out. Now, personal development to interpersonal development. How can I help the one person across from me? How can I help the two people across from me? Once you do that successfully, you have a team of people doing this. And then you can move that out a little further to a larger team. So you have personal development to interpersonal development to team development. And this is what we're talking about. Slow growth, incremental growth, one step at a time. That this isn't a race. How quickly can you become the best improviser in the world? I perform with the best improvisers in the world. No one stops practicing. No one stops training, no one stops learning, no one. There's not a single person I know who does not take this art seriously enough that we practice it on a regular basis. Because like any other muscle group, if you don't work it out, what happens? It atrophies or ultimately dies. And so look at this as long-term growth. What can you do in the next 20 years if you start today?